Candida, candida. Isn't it time to say bye bye? Are you trying to find out exactly what you can eat in a day with candida? Now, in this video here, we are going to go in a lot of details to define three extremely important parameters why people fail in their diet against candida. Let's begin with my introduction. My name is Nicola Zanetti. I am a qualified nutritional therapist, senior college lecturer with a bachelor's degree in biology and a master's degree in human nutrition. More importantly, I am the creator of the program Beat the Beast, a program to support women with candida based on the evidence of over 100 scientific papers. So if you are interested in the topic of candida, like this video and the channel if you are on YouTube, like the video and the page if you are on Facebook. And now we are ready to start. As usual on this channel here, we always use two things. Number one, real science. Number two, the whiteboard. Come with me. So at the center of the whiteboard, I put the center of my mental map, which is three parameters to remember when it comes to the diet. So I'm going to teach you three extremely important things when it comes to design your diet against candida. Number one, you must reach the right protein intake. Now, this is a controversial topic on its own, but I'm going to give you the kind of evidence that I think is the most reliable one. So to calculate how many grams of protein that you need to be eating every single day, you do 0.83 times your kilograms of body weight. As an example, let's say that, that your body weight is 70 kilos. You take 70 kilos times 0.83, which gives you an equivalent of 58 grams of protein every single day. Now, 0.83 does not change. It's one of the values, I think the most reliable value that science has, has designed to decide the protein intake. So 0.83 doesn't change. What changes is the possibility of your body weight. Now, if you're not used to use kilograms, if you use stones, if you use pounds, just go online and you can simply Google uh, pounds to kilograms converter, stones to kilogram converters, so you can find how to calculate this. Why is reaching your protein intake extremely important in your battle against candida? For three reasons. So, first of all, the first reason is your liver detoxification. So when candida starts to die in your body, it can produce more than 50 different toxins in your body, which means that these toxins here will need to be detoxified by your liver. Why are amino acids super important in liver detoxification? Because amino acids are crucial to support stage phase two of the liver detoxification in which it needs certain specific amino acids to detoxify and deal with all of the nasty toxins that candida is releasing. If you're running low in amino acids, if you're running low in proteins, this part here may actually work less. So very, very important. Step two, and it all goes to your immune system. So let me tell you one thing. A healthy immune system is the bane of the existence of candida. Therefore, you want to have a healthy immune system. Your healthy immune system is made by basically two things, cells of the immune system and molecules, which are basically proteins that the immune system uses to communicate between the different cells. So, your immune system is made of proteins, which means it's made of amino acids in large quantities. And you also need specific proteins called cytokines for the immune system to communicate between one area of the immune system and the next. Now, clearly, if you're running low in proteins, this is not going to be optimized. And you do want your immune system to be optimized because no matter what you do, if you take antimicrobial, if you take probiotics and so on, they are never going to defeat candida unless your immune system is also on board. If you really want to defeat candida, you need to have healthy immune system plus the protocol, the diet and everything else that you need to do. But the health of your immune system is actually super important. Step three. So 
In this channel here, I've spoken a lot about the different forms of Candida. For today, I'm not going to do it, but I just wanted to remind you one thing. When Candida is in the hyphal or fungal form, Candida produces a set of proteins called SUPs. These proteins here, they basically are responsible for digging holes into your body. When the SUPs, they dig holes into your body, the program to basically get rid of Candida must go through a phase of repair. And what is your body made of? Think about where Candida is. Think about your mouth, genital area, your skin. There is a very high amount of proteins in those areas. And therefore, if Candida damages that part of the structure of your body, that specific tissue, to repair it, you will need plenty of good quality amino acids to repair the damage. Now, clearly, a protocol that actually targets Candida needs to go through a detoxification phase, like a killing phase, a repair phase, in the correct order. You can't just simply Google things and try things randomly. But this part here of repair is crucially important and very few people actually discuss this. Okay? So parameter one, we have done it. Protein intakes. Next in our list, and equally very, very important, is the right amount of fiber, and I'm also going to put plus clean water that you need on a daily basis. So, consider that the majority of people watching my videos are women, I'm going to use the values for women. So, a woman in a single day should be consuming at least 30 grams, free zero, 30 grams of fiber every single day. And this is not that easy. It's not that if you just eat fruits and vegetables, you're going to do that. You need to eat a lot of vegetables to actually reach your 30 grams of fiber every single day. When it comes to water, I would say two liters of filtered water are more than enough for you to be able to, to accomplish the goal that we, we are going to cover in one second. But why is fiber and water extremely important for the battle against Candida? It is important because one of the reasons why Candida grows from the yeast Candida, which is harmless, to the fungal Candida, which is dangerous, is an excessive amount of the female hormones called estrogens, specifically one specific estrogen called 17 beta estradiol. Now, excessive amount of estrogens are also detoxified in your body by your liver. But the excessive amount also needs to be excreted. Where do you excrete them from? You excrete them from, from your urine, but especially from the stool when you go to the toilet for defecation. Let me explain to you how a stool is made and when do you feel to go to the toilet, because it's absolutely important. So when we are in the last part of the intestine, the large intestine. What does the large intestine basically do? The large intestine reabsorbs water, so you have a lot of water available in your body. Now, when do you feel the urge to go to the toilet? It's very, very important. You feel the urge to go to the toilet once the stool in your uh, final part of the intestine is large enough to press on the mechanoreceptors, which are the receptors on your large intestine. So when the stool is bulky enough, you start to feel this pressure here. This, it's time for the stool to leave your body, to reach the exit, to reach the anus. So you feel the urge to go to the toilet. Ideally, as a person, you should be going to the toilet daily, maybe even twice a day when you reach this amount of fiber. Okay, so in this scenario here, how do you make sure that your stool is bulkier? The two most important parts are the stool requires water and the stool requires fiber. Once you reach this amount of fiber and this amount of water, it's going to be much easier for you to go to the toilet. Why is this important? Because we said that inside the stool, there are a lot of estrogens that we don't want them in the body because we have already detoxified them. We want to excrete them as fast as possible. And fiber, one of the, the good advantages of fiber, will keep the estrogen stable in the stool. So the estrogen is not reabsorbed all the way back into your system. So it is extremely important in your battle against candida to basically excrete and defecate 
like often, because this is going to get rid of a lot of toxins from candida, it's going to get rid of, of excessive estrogen. It is very, very important. So every single day you must reach your 30 grams of fiber, not just for candida, but this is good for your health in general. Third advice, and probably the most important one of the whole lot, which is, I know that the internet is a scary place where people come up with solution for candida, like quick cleanse, 30 days Instagram challenge, do nothing, um, listen to unqualified advice. I absolutely know because I spend a lot of time in online groups and forums to see what people say. So I know it's scary and it's daunting. But there is no such thing as a candida quick cleanse. It doesn't exist. Candida is a very complex microorganism which has been around for millions of years and candida is extremely good in surviving in your body. Therefore, you need to give yourself enough time. What's enough time for you to follow the diet and the program to actually tackle candida very strongly? I think around one year following the right structure is a reasonable amount of time. I mean one year with the right structure, like you can find in my video course called Beat the Beast, which is in the video description. Why am I saying one year? Why am I saying no quick cleanse, no nonsense? There are basically two reasons. The first one is that if you do not have a diet which is sustainable, and by sustainable I mean that you can keep eating in the same way, in a similar way, for a long period of time. What will happen very, very often is that you will drop out. It's mind-blowing the amount of people starting a zero sugar challenge in which they actually don't really like follow through. They do it for like two days, three days, four days, and then they stop. So when something is not sustainable, it becomes very complicated for you to actually be able to do it on a consistent basis. That's reason number one. And this is the reason why in Beat the Beast I have created a diet that does make sense and it is sustainable for the whole year. It's no anything crazy, it's nothing like impossible to be done, challenges for one week. No, it's very sustainable, logical and healthy. With that out of the way, Another thing why you must not do a quick cleanse is that, remember this, if you do a quick cleanse and if you try to kill the large amount of colonies or candida very, very fast, you're going to have horrible die of symptoms. Why? Because the more you kill candida, the more when candida dies, it releases toxins. And we said candida can release more than 50 different toxins with one of the most toxic um, Toxin that candida releases is called acetaldehyde. If you do things too fast, uh, it's not a sign that, that candida is going away. That's, that's lie. It's still going to take a lot of time. You're simply exposing yourself to a lot of pain, which is not needed because in a diet that does make sense against candida, the die off can be minimal or even cannot be there. Now, it's not guaranteed it's not going to be there, but when you do things right, uh, then it is very possible that the day off will be absolutely minimal. So this is the reason why you need to plan things thoroughly. You can't just rely on unqualified advice. That's it for this video here. This video was long enough. If you want all of the details of what I've discussed so far, in the video description you can buy Beat the Beast. Beat the Beast goes very, very deep into the, into the kind of challenges that Candida gives you in your body, and it is seven and a half hours of content teaching you what Candida does, what to do, how to reduce the stress, what to do when you have like holidays, and so on. Find the video in the video description. That's enough for this video here. If you have enjoyed it, please like the video and I will see you in the next one. And always remember that your true health is the actual true wealth. Please, before leaving this video, read the full disclaimer in the video description on YouTube or in the attached document on Facebook. Thank you very much.